Posting content regularly on your social media accounts is a great way to stay connected to your entire audience. It will help you increase your brand's reach by introducing more people to what you have to offer. They may become your followers based on the content you post, helping with more conversions. You will build your customers' trust and credibility for your brand and give them a way to reach out to you easily. You can engage your audience with different types of content based on what they like to see and what's important for them to know such as product updates and releases, tips and tricks to help them find their way around the product and important announcements. But posting content every single day, tracking how the posts are performing and analyzing how your audience is responding to them can be very time consuming. So. To make your social media posting easier by automating the publication of your posts, Zoho Social takes care of the entire job for you. You can curate your content, post it across all of your social networks simultaneously and track how it's performing based on certain metrics all without leaving social. Now let's see how we can start posting through social. All of your social networks are added to your account and you're ready to start posting. This is your social dashboard and you can access all of the modules from here. Click on new post in the social dashboard to access the compose window and start posting. Here you can see all of the networks you've added. If you've added more than one brand, you can click here to see all of your brands and their channels. You can choose what channels you want to post on. You have the option to post to a single channel or to multiple channels based on the type of content you want to post. Once you've chosen the channels and added the content, posting is quick and easy. Let's explore all of the options you have in the Compose window. The first icon attaches relevant media to your post. You can add media files from your desktop, media library, cloud picker or Canva. The media library includes the social library, which contains all of the media files you upload to social. You can sort and filter files using the available options and choose what you need. The media library also includes extended third-party libraries such as Pixabay, Pexels and Jiffy. You can search for images or GIFs using keywords and attach them to your post. You can choose media from Cloud Picker, which has all of the Cloud Drive options. You can also design your image in Canva and upload it to the post. Let's attach the image directly from the desktop for this post. You can add a location to your Facebook, Instagram by clicking on Add Location. Click here to add a direct message link to your ex post. Clicking on Instagram first comment will add the first comment along with your Instagram posts as you're publishing it. Click on Instagram preview to see a preview of your existing Instagram grid. Click here to add either a button, event or offer to your Google business profiles post. Add the necessary details and click add to add it to your post. Click here if you're posting a YouTube video and add details such as description, title, and other required information. Click on Pinterest posting options to add details about your pin. Click on hashtag groups to add hashtags to your posts. If you're a business and you're posting content regularly to reach your target audience, you can curate a set of hashtags that will provide you with the reach you want. For instance, Zilker Travels can create a hashtag group for travel. You can give it a name. Here, we'll name this as travel. So every time you're posting and want to add hashtags to your posts, you can add the group directly from here. You can also go to settings and then publishing and add hashtag groups there. So you just have to select the required group while you're posting. You can add emojis by clicking on emojis on text for your images on selected networks and tag user accounts in your Instagram posts. 
Now let's get to posting. Say you're planning to host a holiday giveaway for the first 50 customers of Zilka's chain of businesses in their offline stores. You have added three different brands in your social account. Zilka Travels, Zilka Mart and Zilka Bakery. You're planning to reach out to all of your customers through your social networks and inform them about the giveaway, encouraging them to participate. You can add all of the networks across the three brands that you want to announce on. Here, we'll add all of the Facebook and Instagram channels because Zilka has the most audience on both these channels. In cross-brand posting, we also have to make sure that the cartoon doesn't become too repetitive for users across the networks, so we'll choose only the networks where the follower count is high. I have selected the Facebook and Instagram channels for Zilka Travels, Zilka Mart and Zilka Bakery. Now let's type the content for the post. You can attach any relevant media to this post. Now that the content and image is added, you can choose to post it via any of the available publishing options. Choose Publish Now to publish it immediately. You can schedule it for a specific date. You can tick the checkbox if you want to repeat this post and choose the frequency and the date until which you want to repeat it. You can add it to a queue and choose a unique time slot from the available slots to publish your post. You can go to settings and choose publishing and queue settings to create these slots. Choose the day, click add time and add the desired time to use as a slot. Additionally, Zoho Social has a feature called the Smart Queue specifically for your Facebook, X and Instagram profiles. Based on the available information about how well your posts are performing and what their peak times are, Social will suggest certain time slots where your audience is more likely to engage. You can choose the most probable slot and schedule it for that slot. Let's publish this post and it's done. Once the post is published, you can see how it's performing through post stats under the post tab. You can view the stats of these standard metrics for each post individually and you can view detailed analytics under the reports module. Watch the next video to know more.